Auto Sheen Car Wash operates multiple washes in and around the South Jersey area. With the frequency of his full-service customers dropping and new competition moving in down the road, owner Fred Nash needed a way to keep his loyal customers coming back every week and attract a new clientele to boost his business. Watch this video and meet Fred to learn his solution to increasing his car counts. It's about 20, 26 years ago I've been in the business. Uh, my uh, father actually is the one that went into partnership with, uh, with a former partner of his and that's how we got all uh, lured into this business. The, the backbones is my uh, eldest brother. He actually is the, uh, the maintenance, the tech guru, the chemistry guru. He's kind of the uh, backbone behind the operation of the car wash. We all oversee operations, uh, managing the staff and the managers, uh, customer relations, we all partake on that. Um, I do the finance, bookkeeping, the, uh, the paperwork, the, uh, anything with the uh, uh, taxes, and then uh, my, my sister also is involved with us. She does the marketing and the advertising. We have uh, five locations, uh, four full service and one is a self-serve location. Our four full service locations are within um, fairly close proximity to one, one another, about maybe 20 minute drive uh, within 10, 15 mile radius. This location is um, is our most recent one that we added to our to our uh, our sites. It was a uh, formerly a self serve location where the customer remained in the car. Within a five mile radius, you'll find about seven car washes. Us being the eighth car wash. Most recent conversion used to be full service car wash, and they were also busy at one point. Uh, I think they were probably the second ones in this market that really did well. The strictly exterior operation, three dollars. They're on a very busy uh, busy highway so they can definitely attract some customers. So we need to compete and offer that to our existing customer base here as well. At this location we have two entrances. Uh, they're both fairly busy roads. Uh, our main entrance um, is where you can enter to either the car wash or choose to opt for the oil change services. Um, if you go for the oil change service, you kind of veer to the right. If you choose for the car wash, you stack up in a uh, double lane stacking. Um, at that point, we queue the cars uh, from this side of the street up to the vacuum area, and then another lane from the other entrance we have converge into a second uh, vacuum area. So we have two vacuum troughs where we uh, vacuum the vehicles. This is a uh, Sunny's tunnel. Um, it's uh, 110 feet long uh, as, far, as far as equipment. Um, we right now are doing manual prepping to the extent of uh, the wheels. We have the uh, Sunny uh, Omni. Uh, high pressure arch which uh, eliminates us having to manually prep the vehicles. Um, with the addition of the pendulum at this location we'll get away from actually doing the manual prepping on the wheels. We'll have a part A and part B wheel application and with the pendulum will be fully automated in terms of uh, prep on the prepping side. Uh, once we add the uh, tire shiner we'll be completely automated this site and do very little manual work. In these times you have to put back in the business and uh, show the customers that you're, you're surviving and you're, you're improving your product. Back in the late of 2007, I think that's when most people in this business felt things really drop. Um, that allowed us to kind of catch our breath and we expanded our, or improved our wash process through uh, automating our services. Uh, for example, we had fellows that just scrubbed wheels all day. We had fellows that did nothing but clean the uh, bumpers all day. We had fellows that did nothing but apply tire dressing by hand all day. Um, at that location, we began to incorporate Sony's equipment and uh, two things that we added that helped us tremendously, actually three, three pieces of equipment that we added, uh, were uh, a set of big man wraps from Sony's uh, that doubled up our wrap capacity. We have two, two sets of wraps there now, which put up a phenomenal uh, car. Uh, we also uh, added the uh, pendulum, which with the right chemical application allows us to clean the, the tires and the wheels without manually prepping. And we added the uh, tire shine machine, which uh, well, we also got through Sonny's. Um, and again, with the right tire chemical, it really puts out a good show, a good tire. Uh, so we've been able to reduce our man count and produce the same amount of cars, if not more, in a more consistent fashion. Um, we are implementing the same changes at our another location. We're currently undergoing the uh, renovations there. This past year, in 2010, the only location that actually improved was the location that we did the automation in. Uh, that location actually increased about 5% in car volume. Um, the remaining locations remain kind of stagnant, and uh, hopefully with the change we're implementing now, as far as automating, we can see the changes increase in this year and the year next, coming up next. The chemicals in this business have really changed a lot. Uh, the equipment has changed tremendously, and it's uh, allowing us to uh, to put out cleaner cars with less manual labor. You, you can't remain stagnant. Um, times have changed and you have to change as well. Our uh, high volume facility, we're implementing a exterior only lane. 
Uh, we experimented over the past year with, in, with introducing the exterior car wash for the first time. Um, that car wash is really a destination facility where people from various towns will go there just to wash because of the quality of service that we rendered. Um, we track our customers, we analyze our, our database of customers, we noticed that our, our wash frequency was again decreasing. Instead of coming on a weekly basis, we'd see our customer once a month. Um, and we would ask them when they came in, where did you wash in between? And you learn that they're washing at the cheaper washes and when they want the good, clean, full service wash or the super deluxe wash, they'll come to us and, and, and use our facility. Obviously, why have them go down the street for a cheaper wash? Why not offer the cheaper wash here? Our machinery here, our, our, our staff is here. Um, so we put out a $5 car wash. We advertised on the highway and customers started coming in and we would pull those customers and quite a few bit of them are first time customers and quite a bit are also our existing customers that advise us that had, they, had we not had that special they would have gone somewhere else for the cheap wash. That's definitely helped boost our numbers and perhaps contributed to the growth of experience over the past year there. Um, so now to fully capitalize on that we're going to have strictly an exterior lane where that customer is not going to wind up waiting in the full service lane for that quick wash and now you can begin, begin to advertise as a you know, three minute car wash or five minute car wash and hopefully appeal to, to new customers and even to existing customers as well. We're currently doing renovations at our one of our other facilities where we're switching to uh, to the uh, flex model. Uh, that again was also a full service operation. Um, we're going to put two auto, auto um, automated gates there, and uh, we're redoing the area where we pack in the vehicles. Uh, we're adding a waiting room for the customers to actually wait in. Um, once that renovation is underway and completed, we'll tackle the site next year. We think it'll, it'll take off really well in this area because the customers are really time oriented. Um, they want to get in the car, get a quick good wash and be on the way again. The, uh, the services in terms of car washes, we have uh, basically four, four packages. They are basic full service car wash and then we have three packages which will incorporate waxes and um, tire shiners and, um, and air freshers within the wash packages. Uh, second profit center that we have is going to be our uh, express detailing which is performed in an uh, indoor building that's uh, next to this facility here. Due to the economy, we we're compelled to reduce the price of those uh, services. Uh, we charge at $1.29 for express detail service. Now it's down $19. We are seeing the volume increase and in, you know, customers being more receptive to that, so hopefully the uh, decrease will be offset by the increase in the uh, number of services that, that we, we offer the customers. We, we have loyalty programs to do customer tracking at all of our locations. Uh, we have a point system where you earn points uh, similar to frequent flyer miles. Uh, every wash is awarded a certain point level and it's all tracked by our computer system. And when the customer comes in and they're surprised by the cashier telling them, oh, you have enough points to get the wash free today, it puts a smile on their face and certainly they'll tell a family member that night at dinner or a friend and hopefully they'll patronize, patronize us more. We're fortunate to have good managers working for us and we rely on the managers to adequately staff their, their site. Uh, we give our managers the uh, ability to review their stat data to see how they're doing cars per man hour, where their ticket averages are, and they use that information to gauge how they staff their, their facility on that particular day. Our managers are go through a pretty extensive interview process. Uh, we don't hire on the fly. Usually to, to place a manager will take us two to three months of interviewing. Um, even our cashiers, we, we go through extremes when we hire cashiers because they're your image. They're who talks to your customers. Uh, so you want them to have the same and share the beliefs that you have in the way you want to treat your customers. On a busy day we have between 10 to 12 employees. Uh, we share the pool of employees with our loop center. Uh, if they have downtime, those fellows will come out and work online. Um, on a slow day we can operate with four to five guys. Uh, again, it's also dictated by are you really selling express services that day? Are customers buying it because it's going to rain the next day? Uh, so all of this is predicated by the, by the weather. You're as good as your worst guy. So. If, if we have a fellow that's not fitting in, we definitely you know, try to weed the, the bad staff out from the good. Um, we're left with a good, uh, good pool of employees and we try to equalize the hours as best as we can. I think we have a very efficient and effective wash process. Um, something you can't control is the increase in utility costs. Uh, that's always a factor you have to contend with. Uh, we have good relations with our chemical suppliers and we're able to, with the five locations we have, achieve good pricing. Um, so I think the wash process is something that we have locked down. It's, it's other variables that, uh, that we're, we're struggling with trying to get customers in. The reliability factor is there. The uh, ease of repairing maintenance is there. Um, 
the resources uh, going through Sunny's are there. We've gone from other other vendors that we've used in the past and, and are now migrating towards Sunny's. So that tells you something about how, how pleased we are with this equipment. Even when we were doing the installation here, um, their sales rep for the area came down just to look at things and make sure that things were in order for us. So it was overall a good experience and now we're, um, as we're replacing machinery at our other sites, we're replacing them with, with Sunny's equipment. So hopefully we'll have all the sites converted to, to, to Sunny's. The most important thing is change. We're in a period of change, a period of flux right now. Um, we've all experienced this throughout the industry and if you're not going to change and try new things, uh, you will fall behind.